Hey, welcome to another episode of Evolution Exposure, the show where you get to learn about my favorite indie bands. My name is Brandon, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to learn about the atmospheric indie rock band from England called Racing Glaciers. Sorry, Racing Glaciers. This Macclesfield, England group boasts five members. Tim Monaghan leads the group on guitar and vocals. Danny Thorpe backs him up in those sections as well. Matt Sheepers is the horn section, the bass player, and he helps out with vocals as well. Simon John Anderson adds his talents to the string section and Matt Welch rounds out the group on the drums. The band first emerged back in 2012 with a six song self-titled EP. It's a very experimental in nature record. It kind of draws from all kinds of different genres and it could almost seamlessly roll into any playlist really. It feels like the band saying, hey, look at all these different things we can do. It's folky, it's poppy, it's rocky, it even has some elements of southern soul, which is very interesting to hear in a band from England. In 2014, they dropped a four-song EP titled Don't Wait For Me. It has two of the band's most popular songs to date, Carry It On and First Light. This record definitely sees the band embrace its more poppy side, I would even compare the songs on this album to bands like the 1975 and Coldplay. Just a few months later, our ears were treated to Ahead of You Forever, another EP, this one with six songs. This is my favorite work of the band. A, just look at this album cover. B, it feels like the first time the band has put out a completely cohesive piece and C, it just rocks. Each song perfectly flows into the next one and each note feels important. It has two of the band's best songs, in my opinion, with Wake and Moths. 2016 gave us their first full-length record. It's called Caught in the Strange. Originally, it was released as an 11-song record, but later got the deluxe re-release treatment, bringing it up to 15 songs. I never really understood the whole deluxe album thing, like just give us everything up front, it doesn't make sense to me, it's just a money grab. But anyway, obviously if you're going to listen to this record, you want to go for the deluxe version, because it has everything from the band. Well, this album is really good and I really like it, I do feel like it suffers from trying to do too much at times. It has a lot of instrumental interludes that don't really do anything but pad the runtime. For everything this record does wrong, it does a lot right too. It has an atmospheric and ethereal feel that's mixed with modern rock and it's very unique. It also really does offer some great tracks. High Love, Samadhi, and What I Saw, which is a bonus track and really the main reason you have to do the deluxe version because it's such a good song. After this, Radio Silence. I don't think they've officially broken up, at least none of my research could prove it, but they also haven't posted anything on social media since 2019. Single tier. Two of the members, Tim and Danny, did go off and make their own group called Magic Sponge, so if you'd like Racing Glaciers, you might like Magic Sponge too. I think one of the reasons why I love Racing Glaciers so much is because they feel like my little secret. I've literally never met another human who's heard of this band, and for some reason that just makes them feel extremely special to me. I can't explain it, but that's my logic and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching this episode of Evolution Exposure. I'm your host, Brandon. In the next episode, we're going to talk about some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the cut for a full episode, but still deserve your attention.